Hello, and welcome to this video on the App of Apps pattern for Argo CD. I'm Nicholas Mori, a developer advocate at Acuity, the enterprise Argo company created by the founders of the Argo project. So you're just starting off with Argo CD. You're probably already a Kubernetes user. You're trying to implement GitOps principles for managing the deployment of manifest to your Kubernetes cluster. Now you've probably already learned that the application resource is at the core of Argo CD. It's a declarative representation of how Argo CD will deploy a set of manifests to a Kubernetes cluster. It includes where to source the manifests from, which cluster to create them in, and how to manage the deployment in the cluster. And you know that an application can be created through the Argo CD dashboard using the Argo CD CLI or by creating an application custom resource in Kubernetes. But you may have noticed that none of these methods are following GitOps principles. They're all imperative. Even the one where you're creating a resource in Kubernetes, you're still doing it manually. So the question that you might ask yourself and that I asked myself when I was starting out with Argo CD is how can you manage applications declaratively? Well, this is where the app of apps pattern comes in. An application is simply another Kubernetes resource. Along with the rest of the configuration for Argo CD, they're all represented as resources in Kubernetes. So you can use an application to deploy another application. This is known as the app of apps pattern. The app of apps pattern is most commonly used in the cluster bootstrapping scenario, where you have Argo CD running, you have a bare cluster ready for you to start deploying all of the applications and all of the Kubernetes resources you need to build your environment. And that is what we're going to demonstrate here today. So let's switch over to the demonstration. Now I've got my Argo CD instance here up and running with just a basic guestbook application deployed to it for an example. Now I created this by going through the UI, uh, editing as YAML and, and pasting in the YAML manifest that I wanted to use uh, for my guestbook application, which looks a little something like this. Now my Argo CD instance has two clusters available. The first is the in cluster destination and that's where Argo CD is running. The second is a cluster connected to Argo CD named kind. So the in cluster destination is where I'm going to deploy my application resources to, and then those applications will deploy their resources to the kind cluster. Now to demonstrate that, I'm going to create an app of apps based on this GitOps repository. In this repo, I've got a folder named apps, and in that folder, there are two application manifests. One for cert manager, which pulls the official chart for cert manager, installs the CRD, has the destination set to the kind cluster, and it automatically create the namespace required for cert manager. And similarly, external secrets, which uses the external secrets official helm chart, installs the CRD, creates the, the namespace. And then I've got my app of apps manifest at the top of the repo. Now this application manifest is going to source the manifests in the apps folder of this repository that I just showed, and it's going to deploy them to the in cluster destination, which is where Argo CD is running, and the Argo CD namespace. This way, when the application creates the resources in the cluster, Argo CD is going to see those application manifests and pick them up as applications that it should be managing. Back in Argo CD here, I'll create a new application and I'll paste in the YAML for my app of apps. And when I create this application, it renders two manifests, the two from the apps folder in my GitOps repository. And we'll take a quick look at the app diff here. We'll see we've got cert manager and we've got external secrets, and they're both just standard application manifests that will be deployed into the Argo CD namespace of the in cluster destination. So when I click sync here, it's going to create those resources in the cluster that Argo CD is running in. And you'll see that Argo CD has already picked up cert manager and external secrets and is already syncing them in to the kind cluster. And if we go back to our app of apps here, you can see that the applications are now synced and healthy. And in this case, that means that the application manifest resource in the cluster is synced and healthy. It does not necessarily mean that the resources managed by that application, for example, cert manager are synced and healthy. That's a separate health and status. 
because the app web apps is just managing the application manifest in the cluster. It's the application that it creates that is then managing the resources produced by that. So that created the cert manager and external secrets applications, but we already had this existing guestbook application that we now want to start managing declaratively like the rest of our manifests. So what we'll do is we'll add that to the GitOps repository. So you can see here that I've now committed the guestbook application manifest to my GitOps repository in the apps folder, which is where the app of apps application is sourcing manifest from. So back in Argo CD here, you can see that the app of apps application is out of sync and it's now looking to create the guestbook application. But the interesting part here is that the guestbook application already exists in Argo CD and in the cluster that Argo CD is running in. So in the app diff here, we'll see that the only change to the guestbook application manifest, which already existed in the cluster, is that the addition of the Argo CD tracking ID which represents that the app of apps application is now managing this resource and is an owner of it. So if I sync the app of apps application, nothing changes on the guestbook application, but now anytime something changes in the GitOps repository, that'll get synced into Argo CD and then reflected in the guestbook application. So for a final demonstration here, I'm going to delete my app of apps and recreate it to demonstrate what it's like to bootstrap a cluster using the app of apps pattern. So now with my applications deleted, I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to paste in the YAML for the app of apps, but now with the automated sync policy enabled so that when I create this application, it's going to automatically bootstrap my cluster with all of the required applications. So I'll click create. And you'll see that the app of apps is syncing that created the cert manager, external secrets and guestbook applications. They're all progressing and syncing. Now the guestbook application is synced and healthy. Cert manager is healthy. External secrets will be healthy any moment now. And now all of my applications are synced and healthy all from creating one top level application. Thank you for watching this video on the app of apps pattern for Argo CD. I hope this helps explain the value of declaratively managing not only the manifest to deploy your applications, but also the application manifests themselves. Check the link down in the description for our free course on an introduction to continuous delivery and GitOps using Argo CD. Down there, you'll also find a link to the free trial of the Acuity platform where you can try a hosted Argo CD solution created by the founders of the Argo project. And check out the Acuity YouTube channel for more Argo Project related content, and we'll see you next time.